we will make this sign with a Dollar Tree gift bag. Keep watching. We're going to start off with a handful of supplies that I thought I might need. So this came from Dollar Tree. It is some decorative cording or ribbon. Got some plastic candy cane ornaments. Some ribbon. This one is wired, but you can certainly use non-wired because that's what I ended up using. It's a candy cane bag from Dollar Tree. Did I say candy cane? Candy cane bag from Dollar Tree. And this was with their Christmas section. And this was a canvas painting that I got at the thrift store and I peeled off the canvas part. And I will in a moment take my pliers and get the rest of it off. I'm going to use a piece of foam board also. This is going to be the backing for our bag to give it some sturdiness. So I'm just using a little utility knife. I've measured it against my frame and I'm cutting off the back. Making sure the fit is good. If it's not, you can go ahead and trim it or you can wait to trim it after you've got it glued down. We're not ready to glue quite yet because we've got to do some work on the bag. Take the hanger out by pressing the plastic back through that hole on each side and you're going to use that handle as a hanger on the back so just set it aside I've chosen the side of the bag that does not have the fold in it so I have a nice flat surface to work with go ahead and cut along the trim of that or the, the outside of that so you get a nice big flat picture I think rotary a rotary blade or a rosary, rotary scissor whatever they're called would probably be the best for this so that your lines are straight you can see the little jaggedness in the lines there but you can always clean that up I want to kind of eyeball this to make sure that it is somewhat in the center so I'm just getting an idea of where center would be. So when I put my frame on it, I can see my candy cane border. Using this glue stick, I'm gonna cover the back. Nice and evenly. The most important I feel like would be the outsides and the edges so that it doesn't peel up. So it's pretty good coverage there. And you can see on the corner, the left bottom, where I made a little boo-boo when I was cutting, but that's okay. That happens when you're crafting. We're not going to throw the entire thing away just because there's one little rough spot. We can work with that. So I'm just pressing it down with my hands, and then I'm using my wooden ruler to make sure that it is pressed evenly down to the surface of that foam board. I've decided to use this trim to go around the edges to just kind of clean up where I've made my cut marks. This is a plasticky or coated type cord. So it will easily, the, the glue will kind of seep through the little openings in it. So be sure that you protect your fingers. Use your little fingertip protectors. Mine came from Dollar Tree. Or you can use a little spatula or a little stick or something like that. Then I just want you to see how you turn the corner there. This type of trim works really well for that. It'll lay nice and flat for you in the corners. It kind of looks like gingerbread house trim, doesn't it? So if you're working on something that's gingerbread theme or doing some projects with gingerbread, you might consider picking some of this up from Dollar Tree if it's still there because it's a cute little decorative trim, I think.
we're going to go all the way around the, the bag picture with this to trim the entire thing out. Now, depending on the size of your frame, your canvas frame, you might not have to necessarily do the entire thing. I wanted to be sure that you didn't see that white board behind it when I put the frame back on it. So this is kind of my way of covering up my cut marks and making sure it's nice and neat when I put the frame back on. Here is some fix all adhesive that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put that on first in a couple of spots around the edges. And then I'm going to use my glue gun because a glue gun will give a quick seal and then the fix all will make it more permanent. So see, once I put the frame down, you can't even see the trim on the sides. That is okay. All right, so I'm going to use that bag hanger, put some glue down, put a little piece of scrap paper on top to make our hanger. Here's an option for you if you don't like the plain wood, you want to zhuzh it up a bit. You can use some ribbon and just turn the corners and glue it down so you have a frame on top of your frame with a color. Or you can use a little piece of decorative greenery and a bow. My little piece of greenery came off of a vintage bell. So this was on the top of it. But I thought it would look good since we have holly and the berries on the candy cane picture. So it makes it perfect. I'm going to show you two different bows. First one we're going to do is like the, I think they call it a shoelace bow. Very simple. This ribbon I have is probably inch and a half, maybe an inch, and it has no wire in it. It's a ribbon that I like the color of, I like the polka dots, but it's just not that easy for me to work with in layered or stacked bows, so I thought it would be good for these simple bows. I'm trying to use it for my Christmas decor. So there's the first bow. You can do it that way and trim it up, or protecting your fingers. Take a length of ribbon, this was about eight inches, double it on itself, make a loop, and then make a tail. I made this bow recently in another project. I think it was the candy cane. Yeah, I think it was the candy cane. And then we're going to just put that underneath, stack that on top. We're gonna to use a piece of green pipe cleaner, just because the green coordinates but you don't you don't have to you can use any color you're going to cover it up with your greenery you could also tie it with some jute or you can use some floral wire here just hold that tightly and twist it so that it doesn't slip out and that you can adjust your bow just a little bit and trim off that piece in the back and decide where you want to put that in the center or on the side. And I like the side, so I'm just going to put it right there. A little bit of hot glue. Press the bow down so that it has some grip into that glue. That'll hold it. And then I'm going to trim the back off of here, add a little glue to it, and put it right in the center. Rather than dovetailing, I want to show you something else you can do to trim up your bow, and that's just cutting it at an angle. Simple. So there's my little bow. Just to show you here, you can see where the trim is under there. You can always stain this wood. It's just raw wood. If you want to have a darker, a darker frame, you can certainly do that. You can paint it. You can use some chalk paint or acrylic paint to make it whatever color you would like for it to be. For me personally, I think that the raw wood is a nice touch. So 
So would you call this traditional or would you call this farmhouse? I just think it's pretty. What do you think about these Dollar Tree bags? Have y'all been using those in projects yet? They are really handy and they make some beautiful high-end looking signs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.